Alicia in the building. What's going on there, little lady? How you feel? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. So um, why don't you uh, introduce yourself? Let everybody know where you're from. Okay, I'm Alicia, and I am originally from California, California, but I relocated to Atlanta, Georgia, and out in Atlanta, Georgia was when I decided to pursue getting my CDL. All right, so you, you hold up, hold up. You're a California girl. We we talking about sun, bathing suits. We 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 talking about, and you go down to well. Well, Georgia is still well. You know, yeah. Georgia still ain't bad. I mean, Georgia is still still a little warm due to through the winter time, right? A, a, a yeah. little bit, a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's just starting to cool down a little bit, actually. But uh, but California, I mean, mm. why 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 we leave California to to go to Georgia? Of all, I mean, Atlanta, Georgia, of all places. Well, you know. Atlanta is, is where my roots are. I'm real heavy in the ancestry and in our, our roots as far as slavery. And oh, okay. all my cousins are out there. So mm -hmm. it, it was just a finding my roots type of thing. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's what's up. All right. So before you uh, before you decided to get into trucking, what what, what, what you was doing before, before you got into trucking? I did a variety of things. It wasn't just one. I used to work in retail, mm. but I had a heavy background in child care. I was a teacher for 26 years, and I've also been a caregiver for the elderly, but oh. I've been a teacher at heart. Man, 26 years? 26 years. What, Veteran. So what, so what, what type of teaching? Like high school, uh, elementary, what? No, I kept it with the young ones. I worked between zero to ages four at the most. Oh, uh, okay. So you, so you, you didn't, so you didn't want to, you, you didn't want to be bothered with, 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 uh, with uh, no. uh, high school kids. You didn't want to be bothered with them types, huh? Uh, they get to the point where they want to talk back, especially high school. No, thank you. I'm good. <laughs> you had to slap the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> they they don't they, hey these these new jack kids don't know man like you know how they it, it was a tiktoker that that was on tiktok talking about yo y'all over here thinking about doing them dumbass challenges with these with these teachers let me tell you these teachers is damn near the same age as you yeah i don't think you're going to try and get that shit off on them mm -hmm. don't try mm -hmm. all, right, exactly. all right so you um you 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 decided to get into trucking. Why? What what was what was what was the grasp of trucking? What, why did you get into it, or why did upon, you want to get into it? Upon moving to Atlanta, I began to log in on a dating site, and on that dating site, <laughs> I came in contact with a gentleman who was I want to say a recruiter for a company, and then in that conversation, he kind of suggested. That I get my CDL on the, the dating <laughs> site. <laughs> Date, I mean, recruiters is going. Uh, wait, hold on now. <laughs> I mean, I know there's a driver shortage that's going on and everything, but man, y'all, y'all coming on dating sites? <laughs> like, yeah, my name is uh, my name is uh, Jerome Brown, and uh, I like going out to uh, dinner and. I like movies and oh, and by the way, I'm a recruiter for you know for CR England, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, for real. Yeah, yeah. Did but he was based in, if I'm not mistaken, Kansas or something like that. But did, yeah, did y'all go out though? No, <laughs> no. He, <laughs> I mean, oh, it could have been just for me to get in my CDL to meet him. So no, we never did go out or anything. <laughs> so, so on the strength of on the strength of that conversation, mm -hmm. that's that, that's how you got interested in 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 wanting your CDL. Yeah, because he had suggested like certain companies. I think it was a certain company he was under, and he wanted me to go with them. But upon searching with that company, I found CRE. And that's when I applied for CRE. 
man, this this dude was man. Listen, he try, my man trying to get some poutine while trying to get that referral bonus at the same damn time. My G, I feel you. I feel you, my G. I'm not hating on you, my man. Hey, yeah, get your get 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 your funky on and your money on. However you can do it, bro. However you can do it, man. Hey, we, you want to shout out that dating site so that other females can get hooked up too? Ah, oh, shoot. I'm pretty sure everybody probably on that site. It is called POF. <laughs> uh, plenty of, uh, I thought you was about to say piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's on, he's on plenty of fish. Uh-huh. Fishing, literally. That nigga on that nigga on plenty of fish fishing for for female drivers. Oh you <laughs> go guy. Oh man, that just made my day. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so you um you said you you was like, huh? It yeah. Sounds good. Okay, let me go ahead and put you know, put my hand in it. Now mm-hmm. you 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 chose CR England. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was what was your experience with the recruiter? Like you you called up the recruiter, y'all mm-hmm. had a conversation. What was that conversation between you and the recruiter? Uh, if you was, if you can remember, yeah, because it, it was when I first got to Georgia, which was in 2019. Mm-hmm. It was positive because I didn't I applied, but I didn't go into it right away. It took me a couple of years to actually start studying for my permit. Mm-hmm. But when I applied and started encouraging in conversations, he was pretty open. Uh, he was pretty, he was pretty honest. He said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to uh, send you a bus out and fly you there. You're, you're going to be uh, stationed uh, in uh, Salt Lake city because they had closed the Atlanta terminal. He was really upfront mm-hmm. and it, the experience with him was actually positive. Okay, so he 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 basically poured the mil- he he basically poured the milk. But when you got up to, how did you get up to Salt Lake? How did they get you up there? Well, this is pre-pandemic, right? So how uh, how, how did they get you up to Salt Lake City? It was actually after. Oh, the, no, oh no, post. No, no, let me think. Let me think. Um. Well, 2019 is pre-pandemic. Year. It was the same year, 2020, December uh, 2020. Okay, so this is so this is during the pandemic. Yep. Uh huh. Okay, so I'm going to assume Greyhound is out of the question. So how how did they get you up there? No, no, it was Greyhound it, uh, during the pandemic. During the pandemic, but you know it was my choice because I don't like planes anyway. You know, I just figured it, it is what it is. Oh, I've been fine this whole time. I can't be scared of that, so I, I just did the damn thing and I went. Fuck. You all the way in Atlanta, Georgia, going to motherfucking Salt Lake City, Utah, on a bus. I sure did, Fuck. and I got what I wanted. How, I, how, how was that drive? Now during the pandemic, how, how did they, how did they have you guys? Like they had you guys spread it out on the bus. How, how was that drive? Um, it wasn't many people initially when I first got in Atlanta. When I first left from Atlanta, I mean, so it was we were kind of spread out. And we just had to wear our masks. Mm-hmm. And I tend to sit in the back where aren't many people are sitting anyway. So I was fine. But, yeah, I would say out of 55, there were only probably about 20 of us on, a, on that bus trip. So Shit. it was fine. So, so from Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Heading Salt Lake U- City, Utah is Almost is what, three days. North, but Salt Lake City, Utah is like what? North? North mm-hmm. of you? Mm-hmm. Towards California. Uh-huh. Fuck. Almost three days. Three fucking days on the bus, yo. Mm-hmm. That's did y'all did y'all have lay of of course y'all had layovers. Did y'all have to yeah. switch did y'all have to switch buses and stuff like that or no? Yes. If I'm not mistaken, we did it twice, maybe three times. The last time was in was it Missouri? I think the last time we changed buses we were in Missouri. Fuck. Now you say you don't like planes, but what about a damn train? That you know, you you could have on- I heard some negative stuff about too, and I just felt more secure on the bus because I feel like if something's gonna happen, there is a chance I will 
survive. So <laughs> the bus thing it did not really bother me. Um, I've been on it a couple of times before, oh, okay. so it, I'm completely comfortable with it right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, guys, don't 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 say nothing. Now she's comfortable with the Greyhound. <laughs> She's comfortable with the Greyhound, man. So yeah, that that's cool. But me personally, nah, I would have either, I I would have either flown or uh-huh. or or rented a car and got out there. All right, so right. you got out there. Uh, about what time did you get out there? Like, did you get out there in the morning, noon, night? What what what? You no, know, like we got there. Well, you had a a person on your show that was on the same blast bus I was on, which was Luther. Mm-hmm. And we got there at, I uh, want to say, around 9, 50, 10 o'clock at night. Okay. So did they yeah. did, did they have somebody to, uh, did y'all have to take a, did they have somebody to come and get you? Did y'all have to take a, a, a bu- uh, another bus over to, the, over to the hotel or what? No, someone met us at the uh, station. There was three vans mm-hmm. that, our recruiters told us would be there, and they were. Mm-hmm. So we literally just waited for like five minutes and went to the front, and they were there. Oh. And we all, maybe like nine of us were on total on that bus, and we all got into maybe three of us to each van. And that's how they did it. So, how many, just- so how many people doing that doing that ride? Because I'm, I'm assuming a lot of people probably came on came mm-hmm. on doing doing the midst of the layovers and all like that so yeah uh at the end at the end of the bus trip how many people was there to go to see our england uh-huh. it, i want to say 10 of us all right so it was 10 of y'all 10 and of i y'all. was the only lady uh-huh and you was the only lady there okay <laughs> so of course you, you of course you get to the uh hotel room and mm-hmm. you the hotel solo or did they try to or did they try to put somebody else in the hotel room with you oh no it was totally solo you know the recruiter told me that too i think because of the pandemic they couldn't do you know add people on there and try to be sneaky with it Mm -hmm. everybody had their own rooms okay that's what's up that's what's up Uh all right so all right so we we are here at cr england uh, we we going you you going for your this this is going for your CDL. So this is yeah. so. What was your now your CDL training? Was mm-hmm. it uh did 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 the recruiter tell you that it was going to be like a three week program or or and if they did tell you if, if it was a three week program, how long was the program? He said, "Mines." I had a really good recruiter. He was up front. He said it would be a ten-day program, a 10 but day. it could be longer depending on the person. And he was definitely correct about that. Yeah, ten days. 10 and he was days. right. He was right. Some people did finish in ten days, Fuck. but people like me finished after. You know, it took me a little bit longer, but yeah, ten days. I would imagine. I would imagine. So what? What the fuck? Are you going to get crammed in ten fucking days? Yeah, they 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 did cram. They <laughs> what 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 are what are, okay? So so Alicia, break it down to me. What what are the fuck they crammed in you in ten days? Basically, we were all in one big room. It was about one hundred and twenty of us, and they did the roll and all that stuff. One hundred and twenty. Yeah, all together. A hundred and twenty. Uh-huh. Yes, we had a big class. Everybody wanted to come in the winter. I guess they felt like it was a good time. A hundred and twenty people. Mm-hmm. How many motherfucking instructors that they got for a hundred and twenty people? I counted five. Five. Well, I'm sorry. In the in class, in class, but on the yard, I want to say there are about ten men helping everybody drive. A hundred and twenty yeah. people. Uh huh. But oh. we haven't got to the drug test yet. So, but it's starting. It was one twenty. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. So still, okay. So still break it. So still break it down. We, a hundred and twenty first day. We got we got nine more days to go. So go. Yep. Yep. So and then in that the first couple of days we did the drug test, the physical test, mm-hmm. and the beginning we started with the trip, the pre trip. Okay. We had to cram the pre trip. They gave us a little book with the study and said this is all you need. And then also to help you go on the yard and go through the trucks and look at the parts, and you'll have that. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then day three, 
and four, we, of course, we started losing people. So the numbers started dropping, maybe down to 80. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so we go in the yard and start practicing backing and our maneuvers and mm-hmm. all that good stuff. And then two days later, we started the roll thing and we lost about, uh, about 30 more mm-hmm. and ended up with about 60. So by the end of that first week, it dropped from 120 to around 60 people. All right, so first, so first five days done, mm-hmm. y'all down to y'all y'all down to what sixty people? Yeah, basically. Uh-huh. All right, so second, so you're off the weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. y'all back Monday for for the continuation, of right? The five days. So, uh huh. The continuing five days go. They started to schedule for the testing, and the people that were. They started with people that in the class before us. So after they finished with them, they started working on us. And then uh, some people passed, some people didn't. Those who didn't test yet started doing, kept fin- starting up maneuvers. We uh, started continuing practicing that. If we needed more time with that, they gave it to us. They weren't stingy with what we needed. A couple of times I had to email the office and say, you know, I'm not ready. I need to do more on this. I need to do more on backing. And they assigned me that time. So they weren't, even though they crammed everything, they weren't stingy with what you needed. Okay, okay. All right, so Friday, the last day, how many people like, was there and who, and and how and how was it for you? We did have a Christmas break where a couple of times they didn't have the instructors because it was at Christmas holiday. Mm-hmm. So I was actually scheduled to test on New Year's Eve, but I did not think that was a good idea because I did not feel I was ready. So, <laughs> so some people did, and some people when they the ones that did take it, they did they passed, and some that took it, they didn't pass. But mm-hmm. I rescheduled for that week of the third. Like if you cancel it or want to reschedule, they give you a whole another week. Okay. So by me not testing on New Year's Eve, the next time I was to test was around the second. Okay. Whatever was after the weekend. And I believe my test day was January third. Now and as, that day I passed. Okay. So as far as the two weeks that you mm-hmm. that you was there, uh mm-hmm. that you was there, did, did you, you did you now doing the school part of it, did you did you guys get uh did you guys get uh get paid? Did y'all did y'all get paid or anything? No. no. I had help. <laughs> So y'all didn't. So y'all didn't get paid. Uh, did they? Did they offer any type of other than a room? Did they? Did they offer any type of? Uh, I don't know. Uh, food or anything like that. Uh, no. The only time they gave any food was, I believe, on Christmas Day. Wow. But other than that, no. They just offered us rides to Walmart in the shuttle buses. Mm-hmm. And there was a cafeteria at the site, but no, other than that, they didn't feed us whatsoever. All right, so now you're now you 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 pass. You got uh-huh. your CDL. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's when I met you around that time. Uh, right. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's when I met you around that time. Now you pass. You got your CDLs. Mm-hmm. Now you're waiting. Yes. What's now? At that point, that's when they began to give you the $25 per day on your com data card. <laughs> okay. Now, did you, what was your experience on that part? Because it sounds as though you had a pretty, you had a pretty good experience getting your license. I did. Mm-hmm. But what was your experience afterwards? You know, when you're there, they ask you if you want a certain person or a certain type of trainer. Mm-hmm. And initially, when I came in, I requested a female non-smoker. I wanted a female because I figured I was more comfortable with her, mm-hmm. and I needed a non-smoker because I'm allergic to smoke. Mm-hmm. And they told us, you know, if you're going to have to wait a little bit longer for if you want certain things. So I did expect to wait, but I didn't expect to wait as long as I did. And I just initially got impatient and decided to come home. All right. So, so this is this is after, this is after you got your license. So how how long yeah. was how long was the wait, or the initial wait? 
uh, initially I stayed at the hotel for a week. 